tonight we are going to be making some super girly chocolate unicorn bark that's covered in glitter and sparkles, so let's get started. So what unicorn bark is unicorn bark without an actual unicorn horn? So for this, I'm going to use fondant. I've rolled it out into a really thin log and I've cut them about an inch long. I'm going to taper off the one edge and then you just want to twist and you're just kind of twisting it up until it gets into this nice little spiral. And then I'm going to use some edible glitter and I'm just going to glitter these unicorn horns up. You want to start off by melting your white chocolate and today I'm using compound chocolate that's already tempered. I've also got some pre-colored chocolate. If you guys want to color your own, you guys can definitely do that. And of course I will leave links to all the products that I'm using as well as any of the tools in the description box below. I've laid out a piece of parchment paper and I'm just going to start spreading out my white chocolate nice and thin because when you break this chocolate you want to like crack and have and make all these like little shards of chocolate. I put my colored chocolate into some Ziploc bags. You want to cut off a really small corner of your piping bag because this stuff flows really quickly and you don't want chocolate getting all over the place. Now you want to take those colored chocolates and we are going to make lots of fun little shapes with this. We're going to make little squiggly lines and little straight lines and really kind of marbling the three colors all throughout your chocolate so you have a nice balance of all three colors. Make sure you're working really quickly here because you want those colors to sink into your white chocolate and get all your decorations right on top of that before your chocolate sets. Now comes the fun part. You want to take a toothpick and we're just going to start dragging it all the way around our white chocolate and it's going to kind of marble it together and mix it together a bit and create a really cool effect across your whole chocolate. So now it's time to decorate your bark. I have some stars and balls and we're also going to use this unicorn horns that we made earlier but you guys can go nuts with this. Get any kind of decoration or sprinkles that you want and decorate the whole thing and you're really just sprinkling them on top right away while your chocolate is still warm and hasn't set right away. For the unicorn horns, I'm just going to place those kind of scattered throughout the whole chocolate. Now to bring this chocolate bark all the way up to a whole new notch of girly, we are going to need some glitter. So let your chocolate set for about 10 minutes first until it's almost tacky to touch so that way your glitter doesn't sink into your chocolate. And don't use real glitter, don't, don't poison please, don't please. Use edible glitter, I will leave links again in the description box below where you guys can find it. And you just want to carefully sprinkle that all over your chocolate using a paintbrush to help kind of sprinkle it so it's not like clumps. Stick that in the fridge for about 10 to 15 minutes to set completely. And you just want to break up your bark. So you can do that by lifting up the parchment paper and kind of cracking it over in half. You can do it with your hands or you can also use a spatula and just kind of like kind of break it up. You can lift one spatula and flip it over the other spatula and you just kind of like breaking your bark up. This unicorn bark is so easy to make and I bet the kids would absolutely love it to do it with you as well using whatever kind of special decorations they want to make it unique. And then you can put it in nice little bags for everybody to take home as a special loot bag. I personally love chocolate, it's one of my favorite treats and this is especially good because it's like thin and crunchy and like little bite sized. So good. If you guys really like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I do put up new videos every single week and give it a thumbs up. And don't forget, sharing is caring. I would love for you guys to share this with one of your friends that you think would really like this video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it and hopefully I'll see you guys next week. Bye guys.